So Cade Cunningham, he's going to be the vocal point of the offense, whether he's bringing up the ball or camping out on the perimeter, being an outlet for one of his teammates. I've said this before, Cade playing off the ball is the next step in his evolution as a player. And him playing off the ball allows the Pistons to be more creative offensively and not one-dimensional. So, Corey, is it a bad move or a good move? And the reason I ask you this is because there are some Pistons fans that do actually have a problem with Cade playing off the ball. But is it a good move or a bad move to have Cade play off the ball? I'm going to catch a lot of H-E, you know what, for this. <laughs> I think that if K plays off the ball, you could – K plays well off the ball and that shot is falling. K can still be one of the primary ball handlers, but you can really move him into that two spot and then you can bring Jaden in and run the point because, again, we've seen Jaden run the offense. Mm -hmm. I, I would, that's a guy that you, you could really trust, you know, handling the rock. If his defense has gotten better, you know he's a, you know he's you know he, he's a solid passer, just as well as um as well as um as as Cade is not as good as Cade. I mean Cade is phenomenal, but Jaden has proven he can you know he can go ahead and handle the rock in that aspect as well. So if, if that shot is falling and he's proven that he can go ahead and hit that hit that um hit from beyond the arc and go ahead and hit that mid range consistency, I don't see a reason why it would be a bad thing to have Cade play off the ball. I mean, he's still going to have the ball in his hands at some point. And then when the game is on the line, you know, it's going to be in his hands. And who else do you want? He, he's a trusted decision maker, whether he's scoring the ball or making the ball, make, making a play for somebody else, him being able to catch it. Like you just said, that adds another evolution to his game. So I don't think it's a bad thing because when the, when the, when the, when the, when the crunch time comes, it, just because he plays off the ball doesn't mean he's not going to have it in his hands when it matters the most. 100%. What about you, Anthony? It, it's so funny because both Jade and Ivy and Kate Cunningham played a lot off ball in college. Um, and we have Kate's cousin from time to time hop in, you know, this, this stream. Kate worked a lot on his three-point shot this summer. Um, you know, we've been told that or we've seen it in the, the – any kind of you know summer video this this year, whether it was like Rico Hines or Stan, Stanley Remy runs in Miami, um, I think both of them can coexist with being point guard or shooting guard because they're more than capable. I don't hate the move if you want to scramble it and you want to put Jaden Ivy at point guard and Kate at shooting guard. I have no problems with it because Kate is six six and he's a good defender, and I think that's that's how it it would work. It, it, like schematically, if you're you're trying to scheme, um, that's what I was thinking about. Yeah, like because being a six six shooting guard, I mean, like most shooting guards are like between like I don't know, maybe six three six five. I think it works if you want to do that and you want to get Jaden Ivy more touches because in transition he's an absolute blur and he's a very good passer in my opinion. I just think this preseason he rushed a lot of shots and a lot of plays that he wasn't making maybe last March or April where he was playing, like, excellent high-level ball. But I, I think he's more than capable of playing point guard if you want to do that. I think the, these guys can coexist, and they can either play point guard or shooting guard. So I absolutely would love to see K play off ball, in my opinion. I think you can even get more creative than that, too. You could probably potentially move Kate over to the three, have either a backcourt of Jaden Ivey, Marcus Sasser, Jaden Ivey, Monte Morris, and even move Asar to the four or even have like an Isaiah Livers or a Bojan at the four with Dern at the five. Like it just creates so many different offensive looks with Cade being able to play off the ball. I'm excited for it. And I just am so surprised that there are Pistons fans that want to dismiss the idea of him playing off the ball. Like I had one guy, he was commenting saying, Something like, I'd rather see him just play on the ball and become an all-star player doing that versus trying to move him all over the place and whatever we're trying to do. And I'm like, I don't want to see him just play the Luka Doncic role. I already know he can do that. Like, that is so predictable and it's kind of boring. And I just want to see him being like a major chess piece and being able to use all over the floor because that's more fun basketball for me. And I mean, also, too, you got to think this guy's a generational talent. I know that has been said over and over, but he really is. And now he's with a coach that, I mean, yeah, Monty had Kevin Durant for a long season, but has Monty really had a guy like Kate Cunningham in his first couple of years in the league? I mean, I know he had a young Chris Paul, but 
I mean, a guy with this type of tool set, I think they, I think it could work. I think, the, I think Monty's going to experiment Cade in a lot of different ways.